What's up guys, we're back with one day at a time. Actually today, this wasn't even planned, this tutorial. Today I'm having a um, birthday party for two friends that's very close to me. I'm preparing a, a couple of different meals. A tam yum hot pot uh, being one of them. So I figure I'm gonna use this time before all the guests showed up. I'm gonna do a, um, I whip out the camera and do a tutorial for those of you who are interested on uh, tam yum hot pot at home. Today we're having a big party actually. Lobster, clam, uh, all type of food, but uh, that's irrelevant for this video. The ingredient and what is required and the process of uh, making the broth for the hot pot. And then after that, you can just, you know, whatever you want to eat within the hot pot, then it's totally up to you. Beef, clam, shrimp, salmon, fish, bass, any, any type of fish. Today, we're going to use a uh, striper bass. We have like three of them. Actually, let me guys, let me show you guys the menu. Uh, and veggie, very very important. So all this is gonna go into the hot pot. Uh, lobster, we're gonna do actually no. Uh, some of them is gonna go to the hot pot. Most of them is gonna do uh, ginger scallion, bass, clam. Yeah, three big bass. Yeah, that's where I should look. Yeah, this is, uh, we got it from fishing actually. We didn't even buy it from the market. So very, very fresh. Three of them. But uh, anyways, you got the idea. Again, it's kind of irrelevant for the video, but figure. Just to prove to you guys that uh, this video wasn't in plan. I, I'm preparing this before the, all the guests showed up, which is in, uh, about two to three hours from now. So I figured why not whip out the camera and do a tutorial, two bird, one stone. So right, first thing, chop up the lemongrass. I'm serving about 20 people, so uh, two package is about right. Or well, usually uh, family side, you only need like three. And uh, I don't have all the ingredients out, but I'll gather them as I go along, and obviously I'm gonna edit out all the time in the between. And um, you also need the, um, the crushed up le uh, lemongrass that you buy at the supermarket that is already crushed up. Something like this. Alright, so this you want a, uh, to chop it into about 5 inch, 4 to 5 inch. It's really no nutrition or no flavor in there. So that's that. Let me go wash it real quick. I should have washed it prior. Smells good, tastes good. So you peel the ginger, just like this, just scrape uh, against the skin, it'll come right off. You don't have to peel it off 100% and uh, rinse it. Slice it up, because it's gonna make the broth uh, smell good and sweeten it. Again, you don't need this much. I'm only uh, doing this because um, I'm serving 20 people. Crush it up.
guy we want it uh, about three inch. Chili pepper, garlic, ginger, scallion, lemongrass, crushed up lemongrass, and tomato paste. All right, uh, so right now we're about to saute it up, put it in a pot, and mix it together with the um, with the tomato paste. So just a quick recap. So far, what we have right here: chili pepper, garlic, ginger, scallion, lemongrass, and more crushed up lemongrass and tom yum paste. So we're gonna bring it over here. Yep, sorry it's a mess because uh, I'm about to have a party where I'm hosting 20 people. So don't mind the mess. You got lobster everywhere, clam everywhere. So first thing you do is turn on the fire. You need some oil, some butter. All right, um, so we're adding scallop, okay? The baby onion. Gonna make it smell really good, taste great. So let it boil up, and oh uh, yeah, you also prepare a uh, a big pot of water boiling prep to that because after we done with the sauteing with the paste, do all this we're gonna pour it in there. So right now it's the hot water just boiling right now in here. So turn the light. Let me angle it down a little bit. Oh, oh some guests starting to show up already. So just like that. Uh, just enough to cover the bottom. Don't go crazy because you don't want it too oily. Right, Mix that up. Put in the onion. Ginger. A lot of garlic, spicy pepper, lemongrass, uh, scallion, very important. Scallion, very important. Leave it in at the end. Put it in at the end. Because you don't want it to get all soggy and overcooked. Okay. 
that, saute it up. Wait until it roasts a little bit. And that's when you put in the paste. And uh, I've applied this later on because it's so tiny that it's gonna um, burn. So again, chili pepper, onion, lemongrass, the scallion, leave it in all the way at the end. Pretty much when you're about to eat it, you put it in. garlic a lot of lemongrass you want to leave some lemongrass behind reason for that is uh, while you're eating all this is going to be super overcooked and you want to continuously put in fresh one to uh, revive the, um, the smell revive the taste whoa, whoa. butter that's good that's really good Apply a little bit of fish salt. Uh, two, two teaspoons. And you can always apply it later on. You don't want to overdo it and then can't reverse it. Alright, so as you notice, uh thing is about to uh, turn in a little bit um, brownish, yellow. This is when you apply the paste. Actually, no. Um, my bad. So when you notice a uh, thing is starting to get heat up, the onions about to get cooked. The lemongrass gets soft, yellow, soak in butter, soak in oil. That's when you apply this uh, the crushed up lemongrass. So right now the crust of lemongrass is frozen, so we're going to microwave it to soften it before we apply it in here. Just like that. Again, we're going to, um, this we apply it on as we're eating, so to revive that, uh, that taste, that smell. the paste in. Uh, if you're serving family size, maybe like uh, one third. But again, I'm serving for my people, so I am uh, in the whole thing. Just like that. And Again, this, uh, most of it is pretty flexible. You can always apply more later on. That's why I bought extra. Uh, the key to this is uh, you bring in all the flavor. You bring in all the flavor from all this, from sauteing this dry uh, with butter and oil. The thing, when you put it into the boiling thing and without doing this, none of the flavor is gonna come out. It's not gonna be rich. That one smells really, really good. Okay, you got a closer view. Do not. Smells really good. Really rich. So this way, all the pumpkin flavor is uh, soaking into all the, the lemongrass. All the flavor is being blended together. You bring out the, the best flavor by uh, sauteing this way versus you putting everything into the boiling water. It's really not going to do anything. It's like just, it's like just steaming, steaming everything. Like you know how steam uh, veggie, steam veggie versus um, sauteing it up. Try to steam like carrot, 
cabbage and all that stuff versus sauteing up this style. It's gonna be rich up flavors. Right there, this is this is how you want it. Oh, smells pretty good. Soury, smell that kick of spice, garlic, butter, lemongrass. This is exactly how you want it. Actually, I'm gonna apply some scallion. I uh, have second thought of it. I'm gonna apply, but uh, only the top top part. And later on, of course, we're gonna add more as we're eating. Just the top part. Just to bring out some, uh, just to soak the flavor in here. But of course, when we eat, we're gonna have to apply a lot more. bit of sauté pepper not too much just just, uh, just in case some people don't like spice a little bit of salt Pretty much this is about it guys, uh, this is the finishing product really, uh, wait until the water boil up and then you pour it into that broth and let it uh, soak up in the boiling water for about 5 minutes and it's ready to serve. Just like that.
All right, so there we have it, guys. This is a complete um, product. Just taste it a little bit light, so I added more fish sauce and salt. But yeah, very good. Just a little bit kick of spice. See that rich color, the lemongrass, scallion. Perfect. Nah, uh, that's, that's about it. And from here, you uh, serve it into like a smaller pot, and like a fa more like a family size, and then put it on the propane, the gas burner. And from there, just put in whatever food you want. Seafood, veggie, watercress, spinach, napa cabbage, fish, whatever the case may be, this broth is perfect. Tom yum broth for you guys. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, well, I hope you learn a thing or two. Hope you guys can make it. Hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, as always, thank you. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to get back to uh, making more meals for the event coming up. Peace out. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe.